uh, I'll just say furniture asset. I'm going to call it equipment, fixed asset instead of an expense is the point. I'm going to say, okay. And let's say it was for 5,000. We probably want to put a description of what exactly we purchased here, but I'm going to leave it blank for, for our purposes because I just want to look at the increase and the decrease. And then the other side didn't go to the checking account. The checking account's not going to go down. Instead, it went to a loan. So I'm going to say loan payable. So we have a loan payable. Let's just use that one. So this is going to this is going to increase the equipment with a debit because assets go up with a debit. It's going to increase the loan with a credit because credits go. I mean, liabilities go up with a credit. So let's check that out. So I'm going to say save and close. And if I go to my balance sheet uh, and I change the range to 010124 tab 123124 tab run it to refresh it then we're going to see that we should have our equipment there's the equipment there's the 5000 that we put in the equipment and if i drill down on it you can see that it was entered with a journal entry form instead of some other form type of transaction if i go into it we can see there is our journal entry so it's 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 talking about it like it's a form and it, it's a data input form although all forms do enter journal entries in that a journal entry is the fact that the double entry accounting system has two accounts that are impacted which can be represented in debit and credit format or increase and decrease format if you want to talk about it that way accounting equation format so if i then go down to the bottom we said that we have a loan payable there's our loan payable and we can go into it here and there is once again our journal entry let's go back now you can also sometimes enter those journal entries if you're if you uh, d aren't comfortable with the debit and credit form or sometimes it's just easier if there's only two accounts affected you might enter it directly into a register so just to check that out if i go to this first tab over here and i go into my transactions and then i'm going to go to my chart of accounts on the right hand side chart of accounts i'll close the hamburger up top for now usually when we think of a register we think of it as connected to a checking account and it looks kind of like the check register if you used to have the old the old checkbook and you're recording stuff in your into your checkbook but there's actually a register for every balance sheet account so you can see every balance sheet account has a register not on the income statement accounts because the income statement accounts are temporary accounts and that they close out to the balance sheet they start over periodically right from month or year to year so if i go up top i can if i enter a transaction such as we just did increasing the equipment recording alone i could go either into the notes payable register or i can go into the equipment register and possibly record the journal entry directly in there show you what i mean if i go into the register i know that i'm in the register for the equipment uh now and if I select the drop down, I can see I have only two forms that I can use a, a transfer and a, and a journal entry, because this is a much more limited account than say the checking account where you'd have a whole bunch of forms you can use. So we'd probably be using like a journal entry. And then I'm going to say this happened on 010524. And it's let's just say it's the same thing. But this time I'll say it's for 6000 just to make it different and it's going to be an increase they have the decrease first it's going to be an increase six thousand and the other side once again i'm going to say it's going to loan loan payable so you can enter the same transaction here and you can see it's a little bit easier because i can think about it as saying in some senses it's a little bit easier right we could say if there's only two accounts affected i'm going to say well the increase is going to the account that i'm in which is the uh, fixed asset account, which I know is increasing because I bought equipment. And then the other side is going to go to the loan payable. And if I don't know if the loan payable should be debited or credited, I'm just going to record the other side to it and it should be going the right direction. So that way I just need to look, I could look at the asset and say the asset's increasing. So I'll just increase it there and the other side should do what it's going to do. Or I can go into the loan payable and do the same thing. I could have entered it as a as an increase the loan payable and just record the other side okay so if i save it and close it so there it is and then if i go back into it here and i edit it it's going to open up a journal form similar to what we saw with the deposit form 
and the expense forms where I can enter it in kind of a quicker fashion and one that might make more sense. But when I drill down on it, it's gonna give me the full form because that's what QuickBooks does. Everything that's being built on the financial statements is backed up by some form. And if there's not a standard form, then the form will be the journal entry form. So if I go to the balance sheet and run it again, you can see that now we have the equipment, two journal entries in here uh, that have been recorded. And then if I go back and I go to my loan payable, we have the two journal entries in here that have been recorded. If I go back again and I go back to this first tab and I go back to my chart of accounts up top, note that you could have done that the other way as long as you just want to make sure you're on the balance sheet account. So if I went to the loan payable, most people would probably first think about the asset because it's they think about the asset uh, increasing. But if I go to the loan payable, I have a register here. And you can see if I entered this transaction directly into the register, now I have I could have just said, I know the loan payable is going to increase instead of talking about debits and credits, right? And then the other side went to wherever it's going to go, which was the equipment account, right? If I edit this, it's going to the equipment account. So there, there's the, the, the journal entry form. So just note that if I, if I recorded some other transaction with a journal entry, so if I hit the drop down, for example, an invoice, what does an invoice do? increases accounts receivable the other side goes to revenue so if you're not used to the to using the form you might say well i could just do a journal entry for that and but if you do it messes up the internal bookkeeping generally right so if i go for example if i enter a journal entry and i try to enter one for like an invoice transaction and i say this is going to happen on the 8th and i'm going to say accounts receivable is going to go 